Okay, so here we are in central London. I've got this sign here, and we're going to see how the public react. See if the people on the bus can read it. Yeah, new person size. You agree? Yeah. First person <laughs> out of 400. <laughs> Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree with me? You do. <laughs> That's two agrees. We'll see how many people we can get to agree. Do you guys agree with me? Yeah. You do agree? Oh, wow. Do you agree, mate? I agree. I agree. You agree? You agree, yeah. okay. Oh, really? Yeah. You agree? It's more than cruelty. It's more than cruelty. Wow. <laughs> she said it's more than cruelty. Wow. It's murder too. Maybe I should say it's cruelty, murder, violence. Agree? Good work. Vegan. Vegan. For the animals, brother. Agree? Agree? Agree. Agreed. <laughs> There's got to be about at least a hundred vegetarians walking past me. Everyone agrees. Agree? No? no meat Monday. Mon no meat forever, mate. <laughs> Agree? Disagree. Agree? Agree, mate. Agreed, mate. <laughs> wow, that was a really positive handshake. I was like. <laughs> Agree? Do you agree? <laughs> Definitely gets people thinking though, like, I don't know how you could argue with it, like. I'm asking you. Agree? Yeah. Is what it is, eh? Agree? It's a good way to reach about a few hundred people in like five minutes, really, with a message. Did you see all their reactions, dude? That was reaction shaking my hands and shit? Like, people. Really? Were, yeah, someone shook my hand, didn't you get that? Did oh, you? yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 What did you feel about that? <laughs> that was... Everyone read it. So I guess it's effective in just getting a very clear message out to people. And yeah. You can tell they wanted to say something, a lot of people. I might try to go somewhere where we can open up more discussion with people. I just feel like it's not, it's not really a, a, a way of opening up discussion. People want to keep walking. It looks like there's some blood on the floor over there as well. I don't know where that's from. True? I was just wondering, what do you think of this sign? Love it. Do you like it? Yeah. Are you a vegan? No. Ah, oh, I was just wondering, do you think it is animal cruelty though? Yeah, but we've got places to, we've got places to be. <laughs> feel that, that method works better, eh? It's just such a bizarre thing to do, like, to walk up to someone with a sign and go, what do you think about this? And it just says that, like, I don't know. It's like, that lady, lady before, she felt like, I've got somewhere to be, she said. Bizarre experiment to do, I don't know, how people react to something like this. There's a big pub full of people over there. It's always a bit more dangerous because if any drunk people see you filming them, maybe, uh... <laughs> not feeling it either, dude, eh? Excuse me. I was just wondering what you thought about this sign I found on the floor. Uh, yeah, we don't, we try to eat less meat, so... Okay. Do you agree with it? Yeah. You agree? Wow. What do you think of it, mate? I found this on the floor, what do you think? Do you agree with it? That statement? Depends on like, how the animal is treated during its life, I guess. Uh, but the way the animal is killed is also kind of essential. Do you think the, uh, the way makes it cruel or just killing makes it cruel? Is it, it's kind of stupid because is it cruel for a lion to eat a f***ing 
zebra. Well, I don't know. Is it cruel for a human to stab and kill a dog and eat them? It would be cruel because we have a morality. Okay. And the Lions way in don't. which you killed that animal, if you killed it where it didn't feel any pain, I wouldn't really. Have you wouldn't any... think that's cruel? No. The dog? Kill a dog without feeling pain? That's okay? Yeah, that's fine by me. Kill a person without them feeling pain? That's okay? That's not cruel? Depends what they've done. If they're a murderer. But, like, what about an innocent person? An innocent person? I wouldn't. I would be murder. What if they didn't feel it? I would still be murder. Would it be cruel, though, to take someone's life? Yeah. So, what about the animal versus. It's not cruel? No. That's weird, isn't it? There's a double. It's like we have a double standard, don't we? Yeah, but then again, we have empathy, uh, a high level of empathy for humans than we do for animals because we can understand that at a deeper level what a human would feel and how other humans would feel about certain actions. Because they're so, human as well. Yeah, it's obvious that the more intelligent an animal is or perceived by us, the more we feel that it's cruel to exploit them. Do you think intelligence should dictate our moral treatment of other beings? Like, do you think we should base our moral status or the way we treat people morally by their intelligence or their or animals by their intelligence level? Or no, I believe that like humans are all equal. Like, some of us are smarter than others. Some of us have yeah, but, disabilities. Some of us are different races, yeah, and but there, there are different. Really, yeah, so you wouldn't treat someone differently based on well, we intelligence people differently on based on intelligence. People who are more intelligent get higher yeah. salaries. We wouldn't take their rights away from no. people who are less intelligent. No. Like we wouldn't kill less intelligent humans no. if they were the same but cognitive are, function of a cow. Yeah. No, of course not. Yeah. Uh, and there are humans that do have mental disabilities or something like that, you know, we wouldn't treat them different. We wouldn't take their rights away and kill them. Uh, like, well, it depends on, like, in our society, that would be seen as morally Wrong. reprehensible. Yeah. Uh, but, like, say, in other cultures, 500 years ago, yeah. we were like uh, here. Other cultures. Our cultures, oh, uh, yeah, our societies evolve, and we change as people. I believe that at some point, oh, eating meat on the level that we do is not sustainable. It's bad for the environment. Yeah, and I think that will be the thing that will change people's, in Western cultures anyway. Because yeah, because we're at stake, days. basically, because it's yeah. our survival that's yeah. at stake. But you talked about survival. empathy before, like, yeah. do you think we should extend that empathy to animals that can't speak for themselves? And we, you believe that cows, chickens and pigs can feel pain and suffer, yeah? Because yeah, you said you like, want humane uh, treatment. Yeah, like, there's obvious facts. Pain is a evolutionary mechanism yeah. for us to realise that something is harmful. Yeah. Claiming that only humans can have that experience of feeling Well, pain. science shows that we animals... Yeah. Like, so, uh, even if... So, I, I asked you if you kill a human and they didn't feel pain, whether that would be cruel to rob someone of their sentience. You said yes. But it's not cruel to rob an animal of their sentience because they're less intelligent. Is that where you're s sort of standing with that? Yeah. Like, yeah, if I, I, I guess, like, if we had to go back to, and it's also like... Do we have change. a choice? Do we have a choice here to eat yeah, animals or not? We don't see uh, the animals getting killed. Like, have you seen it? Uh, I, yeah, I've never been to a... Uh, abattoir, abattoir or... or anything like that. Have you seen the footage? No, I, if I do, if it is, it is on my Facebook, I would not click on it because it, it would make me... Feel, uh, it, you'd feel upset and you'd feel... Yeah, because I feel like those... It's against your values. And would it make you feel conflicted inside because you consume meat and... Yes. You might feel compelled to change. The, way, the same way as uh, if you had to see watch a video of a cow being slaughtered every time you bought a burger or... Uh, Slaughter the, the cow yourself. That, yeah, the same way cigarette packets have to have horrible like pictures on them and stuff. If that was the same, then people wouldn't eat as much meat, yeah. you know. I think, uh, Do you think people would become more morally culpable, like more morally responsible for their actions? If you had to kill, like, I think, yeah, back in uh, when we were hunter-gatherers, well, yeah. we wouldn't care. Back then, yeah. we had to do, we killed each other back then too. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't justify murder now, does it? 
Like, cause, no. yeah, people use the hunter-gatherer thing to justify our actions now. Do you think that's logical? No, we have evolved away from that, and that's in drug. You couldn't ring a number for me, could you? Sorry, I can't touch you. are right, brother. Uh, it was really good having a conversation. Uh, no, take care, man. Uh, yeah, it was uh, interesting. Here, take this. This is called Land of Hope and Glory, if you ever want to watch it. This is about the environment and health, but this is all English sure. uh, current footage. Oh, cool. wow. Wow. How? How they're raised, treated, killed, uh, uh, it contains uh, red tractor approved, everything sure. like that. Okay. Yeah, because cheap meat is obviously going to be... They're going to be harmed more. Yeah. Well, I, I feel like the, the treatment of the animals isn't taken into account as much. Uh, and yeah. the way that killed is going to be taken. Well, they're products at the end of the yeah. day. You're not really... Uh, and yeah. even you humane... The, yes, the same kind of thing. Killing them and eating them, I mean. Yeah. Thanks, brother. Have a good day. You too, mate. I completely understand it's your workplace. Yeah. But you know what? One of the best conversations I've had for a while, mate.